Hello team. First of all, that's a lot of bats. We've got to get through this lot, Neil. Oh my word, we're going to be hitting some balls today. This will be quite exciting. This, of course, as you can see in front of us, is the Grey Nichols 2023 bat range. Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, get the review out. I want a review. Right, team, first of all, we have the Hypernova. We've got two versions here in front of you. Um, well, let's, we'll go for this one first. Funky looking shape. Um, and some very funky colours. Typical grey nickels um, and traditional grey nickels down the back and front and round the sides. That's been around for, for yonks, hasn't it? Um, stamped on the side too. And then of course we've got the specifics. Bit of shape to that, bit of funkiness to that toe, but we'll get to that in a moment when Neil comes and talks us through some of the technical specs of these bats. So. Where do you want to get started? Well, let's start there then. You've, you've finished on the toe. Um, yep. that's, that's a very square toe. It is. Um, so it's not rounded in the traditional sense. Um, slightly cut away as well. So when uh, that, that should have the effect that when you're taking guard and when you're batting, um, it just sits into the ground quite, quite comfortably. Um, it'd be interesting to see how that plays when we get into the nets later on. But that's what, in effect, that does there. Um, really thick edges, massive, massive edges into a high spine. So. Big profile, quite a low profile. Um, going to suit that front foot player, going to suit those players looking to hit the ball out of the park as well. Yeah. Lots of wood to this, really chunky, chunky bat. Um, Semi-oval handle. Yep. Um, I've always found the handle slightly thinner and slightly longer with grey nicks, but not that that should make any difference. difference. Just a little quirk. <laughs> yeah. um, but a lot of wood there, I would say. Um, one of the first times we've done a bat review with two bats. It is, um, isn't it? Yeah. There is an obvious distinction. Colour being one. Colour being one and the main one. Um, so we've got it in its green livery, which is nice. Um, or we've got it in the purple and red. Yeah. So we've got Brooke, Harry Brooke, and we've got Ollie Pope in this one. Um, and we have two fantastic cricketers, Mohamed Rizwan and Baba Azam in this one. Um, yeah, I, you can't really... I suppose you can't really go wrong with those four batters at the moment in world cricket. No, Maybe think... they've, they've made a good choice. I wonder if we make the same choice when we hit some I think it. this will definitely be a strong bat in the Grey Nichols range. I think it'll be very popular. Um, like you say, a couple of world-class players using it. Um, yeah. But a lot of wood. <laughs> a lot of wood for your money. I think The it's giving gonna shape, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's gonna, we're going to get some distance with these. Yeah, I think so. Better go and have a hit. Let's go and have a go. Go for it. Baba, by the way, just got the uh, world record score in T20 cricket, didn't he? Just saying, just no pressure with that bat. Just saying, he's batted a lot more than me in 2020. Yeah, yeah, he's probably gonna. He's, he's probably just done my whole career. Bare toe, gonna take a little bit of getting used to, just as it sits on the floor. Yeah, but it picks up really nice. <laughs> oh, good length. Oh, lovely shot. That sounds very nice, by the way. Yeah, that felt good as well. Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, get the review out. I want a review. Oh. Close. It, it, it's really close. I want to know. Oh, that has come off nicely. One into the fire extinguisher. Okay, just going back of a length. Well played. I'm at home now. I'm back at home. Oh, oh no. Oh, Oh no! Bat in a bat review, that's never happened before. <laughs> it hasn't happened before and we're not choosing that bat for this reason. I'm at home now. I'm back at home. Uh, so my, my thoughts on the Hypernova are, it's taken, I've got to be honest, it's taken a little bit of getting used to because I'm convinced this handle is slightly longer than most traditional bats. So I found the balance slightly out to start with. Okay. But when you do strike it, you get so much wood behind the ball. You can see why Rizwan uses this. It just gets full value, I think. The champagne hyping over. Well, let's hope so. I hope you went better than me. I was 10 for two after using this oh, one. Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, one run. Loves it in there. Oh, that's nice. That's a lovely balance to that. You see, I quite like it. Very, um, what am I thinking, gun and more hyper sort of feel to this, but with a funky toe. Oh, well bowled. 
Oh, he's got that length back and he's causing me some trouble. I like that. The wood's a bit higher up, therefore you're going to have to hit it a bit further up the bat. I wonder what it's like a bit lower because it looks like that sort of duck build toe to it. But yeah, that's quite funky. That's quite different. Can we go back foot? Because I'd be interested to see what that's like off the back foot. Feel like it's a nice balance. Going to get some power in the hit. I've hit those a little bit further down the bottom of the bat. See there, you see that's come off better there than it did from lower down. So I yep. do feel as though you're going to need to hit the ball in a quite a specific spot. But when you do, you get absolutely you huge You do get good it. value for this because it's quite forgiving across the shape, isn't it? So maybe that taller bouncing, sort of, sort of that more, more of a bouncier wicket, back foot play. Have one more, see if you can get your hands through it. You did well there because it probably wasn't short enough to do that too. No, but... it's, I had to work at it, but you know, you know that's one of the skills of the skills of the trade, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, again, really good balance to it. So therefore, you're going to be able to get your hands through it, um, or at least that's what I felt. I found again, if you get it in the right place, you're going to get a good contact. And I'm thinking one or two bounce four. Big question: purple or green? I'm going green like Baba all day long. How good is he? He's amazing. I think we're going Alpha Foxtrot Delta Charlie, aren't we? Where's Bravo? Oh, oh, we should have got Bravo in there, Alpha Bravo Charlie. It's good, isn't it? Right, it's a funky, funky looking bat. And I do like the simplicity of the red, the black and the white. I do like that. Maybe that's just me. I think that's you. I like the red, white and the black, but I don't like the funkiness as much. OK. Oh, well, there right. we go. Right, so we like this one. We, we like it already. Um, so we've got an Alpha. Do we have anything slightly different? We've got a little toe guard on the bottom. As you can see there, a little bit of a difference in weight distribution. So we'll, um, we'll talk you through this. Zach Crawley is currently having a go with this one. A bit of info for you now. Thanks, Rich. Um, <laughs> it's not quite a square toe on this one, slightly more rounded, but it's somewhere in between. I wouldn't yeah. say it's a traditional shaped toe. It's somewhere in between the two of those. The, the more significant factor, um, I would say, from the technical specs in this one, is the got a really high spine. And I'd say that's somewhere in, in the midpoint. It's not low, it's not high. Oh, it's certainly shifting more to the middle, upper end of the bat. Yeah. Um, it's cut away a little bit, not as big a, chunky a bat as something like the Hypernova, but um, still plenty of willow there behind the ball. Um, it's got a traction grip on it, which yeah. is, seems pretty standard in the Grey Nicks range this year. I think the most from what we can see. All the ones we've got here have all got same the same, same grip on. Um, yeah, I think it picks up pretty well. I th that's got, I've got a funny feeling because of the way you've described that, it's going to be a, a good balanced pickup. Yeah, um, it just feels slightly higher than, than, than maybe some of the others, so it'd be interesting to see how this one goes in the nets, I think. Yeah. Um, I, I would imagine that mid, the, the middle, the sweet spot's going to be really in that middle zone there. Yeah. Um, less forgiving, lower down and, and higher up, but in that midpoint there, I think we should see yeah. maximum value. Oh, I'm thinking, could it be a favourite already? Well, I mentioned one of the I'm a bit more of put, I'm less convinced by the, by the stickers. The stickers on this. I'm going to go that way and hit some balls. I'm not looking at stickers. Yeah, I've got the Alpha with me. I'm hoping I go a little bit better than better with this than I did the hyping over. It feels a bit more like my balance, I think. Does it? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that was nearly a Yorker. Dreadful. Now, officially, that's a dreadful start from me. That what? No, no, it's just inside the blue lines. T20. Normal service will be resumed. That's a lovely shot. Oh, I feel the mojo is back, you know. Yeah. I can feel it. I like this. Yeah. Picks up quite well. He's given that some beans. Oh, sweetly picked up. Yeah, I was trying to go over the top there as well. And you've got that power behind it that as long as you clear mid off and mid on, you're going to get, get boundaries. Good balance with that one. Yeah, really good balance. OK, go back foot, because I feel like you're comfy there and we could be there all day and you'll have a good bat. Just started to dominate a bit for the first time today. Yeah. Oh, late cut. You definitely get good value. Pretty well balanced across the whole blade, I'd say. Uh, even if you hit it slightly off centre, you're still getting a fair bit of wood behind the ball. Getting pretty good value. I quite like the Alpha. I think this one suits a lot of people because I think you get value for it if you're trying to play shots. At the same time, you've got the balance there um, if needed. Uh, we've got an Alpha Romeo, but slightly different spelling of Alpha. But, you know, that was as good as I could come up with. 
Yeah, so it'll be interesting, this one. Um, am I right in thinking you quite surprised and quite like this? Yeah, it surprised me, this one. Quite liked it. It's a traditional shape, straight away. You had to like this. It's in your DNA. Shot. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. Oh, hello. Oh, I was, go I was going up for that. <laughs> and it wouldn't have needed a review either. Would you stop bowling Yorkers? Oh, my goodness me. There's a bit more at the bottom of this bat rather yeah. than maybe a traditional bat. So I think this is working quite well. Oh, that's, that's a horrible shot, but we'll take it. Yeah, nice balance to this. I like the handles because I quite like that sort of... Oh, half thick handle. I've hit that quite nicely. So. Sorry, Captain. Probably shouldn't be doing that in the first over. I think I hit one like that, though. And I... Don't, don't you think, you clear that mid-off and mid-on, Yeah. you've got enough behind, the, behind it there that you know you're going to get boundaries. I think so, and I like, the, I like the traditional shape to this. I think it borders on a little bit more of a, a bit of a convex back, so you get a bit more balance to it. I like the fact that there's a bit more wood down the bottom. Yeah, that, I think that as a bat, if somebody picked that up in the shop, I think they'll, quite, they'll go, oh, that's quite nice, I quite like the feel of that. Here we go a couple on the back foot. Yeah, so this is where it'll come in own, because it's got a little bit of that lightweight feel to it. That's all right. Very comfy. Just because you like... There it is. You like that little work in there. One run, come for just get one. Lovely. I've gone for a wander, ladies and gents. Um, I'm happy with that. I think that's really good. I think lots of options. Lots of people are going to enjoy that. I think if you... <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? When you've got all those bats in the range, you want something in there that's going to be a little bit... Maybe a little bit different. I don't know that this is it. It's a small bit different, but I think it's quite a nice, simple version. And I think, I think people are gonna like it. Oh, it's a gem. Is it an iced gem? Is it a gem lettuce? No, it's a gem cricket bat. As used by, well, we've got Alice Capsey, we've got Beth Mooney, and we've got Sophia Dunkley in this. We've got a very nice colorway. Mm. I like this. Look good in my bathroom, I think. There's a good colorway. You let me brush right. your teeth with it. Well, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Good fluoride in it. Right, so first of all, I like the colourway. I like the stickers. You get your traditional stuff with grey nickels. We've talked about that one, that grip, that traction grip before. Little branding on the side from grey nicks. Little bit of a front face. We're not going to talk about this, ladies and gentlemen, but I think Neil might in a minute. His technical specifications. We've got our little slight change in tow. I'm just going to give you that side view again, just so that you can see the profile of the bat. Very Looks very forgiving just from our first glance. Mm. Right. We've got a bit to talk about here, haven't we? A little bit to talk about on this one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I agree with you. I like the colourways. Uh, this is designed to be a lightweight uh, bat. Um, square toe, yeah. still, right on the bottom there. Uh, plenty of wood, though. A lot Quite of thick wood, edges. Isn't that? Quite a big chunky spine, lots of lots of wood around that sort of middle striking area, um, and also a little bit not to, not quite cut out, a bit more concave, bit shape, more concave so. shape, so quite rectangular yeah. all the way through, it quite is, quite it? chunky, yeah. but light. So uh, it's a slightly shorter blade length. It is, which again we should show you that. Yeah, so we just can so that you can that. see, so but we can, can see it's slightly shorter blade length. And um, interestingly, grey nickels will also say it's a shorter handle yeah super short handle super they describe short. It as. so in theory it should be shorter than this one okay which um we can confirm that is it is shorter it is shorter however <gasps> however breaking news i've always been convinced that gray nickels handles have always been slightly longer yeah. than the majority of manufacturers so um just to prove my point i've yeah, got a absolutely uh, loves this I've, I've got a bat from somebody else um, and when you compare them, you'll see that in theory, Grey Nickel's super short handle Ooh. is actually just the same size as everybody else's handle. Yeah. So there is no difference, it's just super shorter than their actual standard, standard handle, handle, which is slightly bigger. Yeah. There I you go. haven't lost everyone to, yet. Bit of breaking news, that so one. A bit of breaking news. Um, but it does pick up light. It definitely picks up light, and there's still lots of wood in there for you. Yes. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of people, I know, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to enjoy this. Lots of transition cricketers, um, and I think it's, it's a good lightweight option at a really good level for, I think, for cricketers. 
both yes. boys, girls, men's, women's. Going into your first short handle is going to be a bit lighter. It is, isn't it? My only disappointment, I have to, I've got to mention it. And he is disappointed. I, I am disappointed, but a, a full fibre face on the front of a blade, I'm really not a fan of, I have to say. Now, for me, that's normally doing one, what it does do is it gives you extra protection. Okay, so um, if you're hitting it slightly off centre, you're going to get a lot more protection on the face of it. But yeah. to me, it often hides a few things behind it in terms of maybe not quite such good willow or um, some imperfections or something like that. And I, I just don't like seeing a fibre glaze, fibre glass, full face. A clear anti-scuff oh. sheet, I feel, would be much nicer. Aesthetically pleasing. Pleasing. Good. Um, but I am keen to have a little go with it. Yeah, I think it looks a good bat. I uh, think it's a good... We'll yeah. see how we get on. Yeah, we better do, won't we? Because we've given it a bit of a hard time. I do like a little gem as well. D do you know why it does feel like one as well? Does it? Feels lovely. Right, let's go front foot. It's chunky as well. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. We'll get away from back of a length, Rich. That's a horrible length. Shot. Oh, oh now, that was close. one of the finest shots you've ever seen. It's nearly killed Nathan, our cameraman, and it's nearly killed the camera. That's nearly the most expensive shot I played as well. It was, yeah. For a light bat. It's got some, gun, it's got some beef to it, hasn't it? It's got a good engine. Yeah. It's punchy. Oh. Oh, well, bold rich. Do you know what? This packs a punch for a very lightweight picking up bat. It goes like a rocket. Yeah, it's pretty solid in there. It's nice and light. I feel I could, well, we'll see. I feel I could uh, just nip one in there and go. Oh, beautiful, yeah. That's for out the hinders school of coaching, that. He does it on the, could he go? Oh, we'll have one in there. Oh, that's lovely. That's hinders all over. That is, I love, I love a bit of that. I can do I, it with this bat. Yeah. It's light enough. I use that one a lot in my coaching sessions. Yeah, I've been watching. Oh, hands. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, I really like this. When you're choosing bats, you see past the stickers and see past what it is and try and choose. <laughs> he for what struggled it is. to say those words. That, that goes well. I mean, yeah. so much wood. For such a light bat, there's a lot of wood there. Very forgiving, isn't it? Very forgiving. That's good. A lot of youngsters transitioning into their first adult bat, female players, you're going to get total value. So this time I've got a little gem. I can no I'm noticing the difference in terms of being a taller batter. So she's a little bit lower down to the ground. So, but I love the lightweight nature of it. I love the chunkiness. Wonder if, wonder if the height issue is going to be a thing for me. Oh, well bowled. Oh, it's a lovely balance to this. You really liked this, didn't you, for the balance? Really nice balance. I liked exactly that. I th picks picks up light, but but you can punch through punching this. Punching it, and you're getting. Good runs. I think so. Lovely bat. Shot. But again, you can do that. You can get handsy with it because it's got all the wood in it. And again, you can flick because it's got wood in it. Yeah, but you've still got the lightness to be able to do it. And there was enough, enough wood at the top of the bat as well. So that you can defend or punch. And if you need to, that, I tell you what, you've got to get through that one a bit, but it's there, you could do it. Um, yeah, that is a really, really good bat. I think, I think that's going to turn a lot of people to, towards this, that maybe, you know, those young transitioners, you think, yeah, you're going to go for that because of the lightweight nature. But I think a lot of stroke players are going to look at that and go, oh, there's a lot of wood in that, and it's really light. There's a lot of wood for the pickup. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and I think flatter toe, I didn't really notice that too much. I think if people pick this up, I think they might take that one to the, to the till. After a game of cricket on a Saturday night, what do you normally do? We have a curry and we go for a pint of cobra. But instead, Grey Nichols have allowed us to go and use a cobra throughout the afternoon. Very so nice of them. Going to be good for the club cricketer is what you're saying? Oh yeah, I think so. Spot on, isn't it? Cool. OK. Got the old chequered flag. Grey Nichols down the front, usual positions down the back. Not much of a, a cobra sort of look about it, but Little nice little touch with the Grey Nichols emblem down the bottom, down the sides. Gone blue at the top, which again takes me back to my old Pagra Grey Nichols power spot days when they used to go in those sort of colour colourway. It's a while ago now. Um, little change in toe. Just have a little look at and show you the profile. And again, chunky edges. A little bit cut away, but not huge amounts. About the back of the bat. Better turn over to Neil. Right. 
Well, you said most of it, haven't you? Oh, no, not at all. I'm leaving with loads. Come um, on. You mentioned checker flags. This this one really stands out for me. The checker flags in this because yeah. it's pure, pure, the pure black and white. Yeah. All the others in the range with the colours, you don't necessarily notice the the traditional checkered flag, but that one it stands out a lot more. Uh, rounded toe on this one, one for the podiatrists. Love it. Um, definitely a lot more rounded than, than the others that we've had. They often do a square or semi-square yeah, toe yeah. in their ranges, but that's a more traditional rounded toe. Uh, you mentioned about the profile. Really, I mean, so much wood in bats these days. The edges on these are, just, are, are pretty big. Um, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of Wow, all the way through, I'd say from a low point up to the mid swell, you're going to get a lot of wood behind the ball. Uh, a little bit more cutaway up towards the top. Still quite a thick toe. Yeah. So there's a lot of lot of wood in this bat, I'd say. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this one picks up for me, I think. Could be on the slightly heavier side, um, just given where that weight distribution is. But it be interesting to see how this one goes in the nets, yeah, particularly. Um, got the same traction grip as the rest that we've got. Same um, handle as well. Same handle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cobra. I wonder if it bites. We're about to find out. I've got the cobra here, Highness. Front foot. Oh. Well bowled. You always open up with a good one, don't you? Oh! Oh, seriously, you needed to have looked at that. That's a great shot. You've got to hold the shape with that. That's lovely. Yeah! <laughs> Followed by one of the worst. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Big swing and a miss. I was still dreaming about the last one. I feel like uh, those couple of on drives I've played just came out really cleanly. Had the ability and the time with that bat just to hold that shape long enough to, to execute that. You definitely get value. Lots of wood in the sort of middle part of the bat. For me, I'm not going to give my final decision, but it's well balanced. I'm just not sure where it sits. It's just another bat in the Grey Nichols range at the moment for me. OK, let's go back foot and see what happens. Oh, nicely tucked away. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, lovely, delicate shot. Good all round bat, this, to be fair. You're not really going to go wrong, are you? No, you, you, you can't go too wrong. You can't, you can't go too wrong with this. It's going to suit most people. Plenty of wood, give you some value. I'm just debating whether I'd go Cobra or Kingfisher with my Jal Frazee. Oh, I've gone Cobra. Should be warmed up now, Highness. What you got? Yeah, I was going to say, I've got the Cobra. does sort of lend itself to good full face shapes. The, the shape does as well. It's got that little sort of bow in it. And if, as I was sort of think, hitting that one, I think you've got, it's, a, it's an area type bat. You've got a specific area to hit it, hit the ball in. And if you do, you're going to do really well. What do you think of the pickup? Yeah, I quite like it. I think that little bow in the back seems to help an A pickup. got some uh, wood in the hitting area there. Right here I feel that's just, I'm defending that, I can't. You can't do much to that there, yeah. No. Even with the, a punch there, I feel Can like you manipulate I've got, for ones? Can you, have you got that? I've got to get quite tall on that, I feel. I've, it's got to be a bit lower for a punch or a... And here I've got to really get round that. Maybe that's just poorly played, but... That's a better shot. I've got to work a bit harder with that one to get it all, get my hands all the way around it. But it's a really nice shape. It's a comfortable shape to use, but it's, there is some little limitations to it. But because of the balance, I think the horizontal bats are going to have to be, maybe you've got to be a bit stronger than me, but I think you're going to have to work quite hard to get around that. But I do think up and down, that could be quite a good bat for somebody. I feel this should have some dramatic music because it's prestigious with the prestige. But alas, we have no fancy music, we've just got us talking about the prestige. Um, looks classic, looks streamlined, they've taken all the other fun stuff away off the back um, and it just looks clean and simple and I think, I think we're going to like this one. A little bit of grey, um, just to give you a little look on the bottom, toe has been finished off there, black grip and of course grey nickels down the sides, got our anti-scuff sheet too. So let's, we've had a little look at it, let's go and find out what 
It is. This is this is a bit of a bit of a makeover. This one. Uh, it was here in 20, we had this in 2022. So this okay. for 2023 is just just benefit from a little bit of a makeover in terms of design, look, uh, and feel. Um, it's got the real rounded toe. It has, yeah. Um, it, a classic, a true a true classic bat. This I think this is gonna gonna suit. You know, you're not gonna be offended with this. It's gonna suit most people. Um, more of a traditional stroke maker, I think, than if you, if you like to go out and play T20 style of cricket. I think there's other bats in the grey nickel range, range that would that. probably yeah. suit you. But uh, this is probably going to cover off most options. Um, traction grip, as per all the others. Um, it, interestingly, there is we've got to be careful with this one. There's a lovely piece of willow, but fantastic grains in it. But um, even the bat maker who sent us this has actually pointed out with a nice little arrow. Uh, there's a small. Crack. There's a bit of a small crack in it. So. If any sparks fly or any wood disappears, <laughs> we know why. In the making of this video, yeah, then it, just just pointing out it can't it can't be our fault. It isn't. Well, we can't be held accountable for that. Right, Rick. The Prestige, very classic, very styled. Without endangering our YouTube comments blowing up, it'd be interesting to know what the viewers think on who the greatest Grey Nichols player of all time is. However, I think for me, Alistair Cook, you can't beat that, can you? England's test leading run score. Yeah, you see, straight away I've gone, I'm going David Gower, my boyhood hero. The stats don't lie. I don't care. And I, if you have to pay me to watch somebody, or I pay me, or I'm going to pay to watch somebody, DIG all day long. Gower versus Cook versus Strauss, probably. All left-handers, so I'm going to give it a go. This one's for us, the cook. My feeding better be up to this. Oh, <laughs> oh I've got him leg stump, Yorker! Oh, no! Oh. I've got to try that again. Oh, glorious. That was lovely. Back to the, to the business at hand. I think this might suit my game. Ooh. Lovely shot. Shot. Value for your shots. Good stroke makers about this, I think. You're not going to come out pumping this one. Ooh. Test match cricket, I think, versus T20. Come on then, let's go back foot and see if we keep a good balance and good shape with it. Got lovely grain in this one. Ooh. Oh, he's got he's got bit. He didn't Hello. like that, did he? A bit like the bat's growing on me. Oh, delicate. Shot for one. Yeah. Yep. Drop it in there. Over him. You've gone over him. Good all-round bat. This. Not going to offend anybody. It's the most jazziest bat in their range. And for those that are more purists, like simply styled, classy, this is the bat for them. I'm, I think I'm in that group somewhere. Okay, prestige, traditional, classic shape, clean looking, clean shaven, unlike me. I found the middle. Well done, me. I think that's a really nice shape. I like it. I think there's some good balance to it. I feel like if I come up and down, I'm going to hit that really sweetly. All in all, I like that as a good starting point on the front foot. Be interesting to see how I get on up the back foot. Overall, that's a nice shape. Shot. That's quite aggressive for you early on. Was well, a little bit, wasn't it? Oh, and again. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Well, you know, you keep bowling halfway, but the problem is you've got a man out there. So I better go the other way. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice shape. A little bit less wood in the top end of the bat, a little bit more here. I think it's a really good shape, comfortable, not going to offend anybody. Lots of people are going to like it. I think you've just got to find the one that balances out that you can play your pull shot and aggressive, aggressive shots to, see if you've got enough wood in the right places. But I think as a prestige bat, it's a nice one. OK, team, we've seen these two fellas before, the Mega Power and the Xiphos. Xiphos was used by, I think, was Cook and Strauss? Yeah, we're going retro here. We are, aren't but we? But we're going double retro. Both of these go back some time. Yeah, yeah, um, they do. And it's interesting, both the bats, what they do have in common is they've got shaping out the back of the bat. So they we have. started here, so you can see that. Um, it's got a slightly longer bit of sticker here, shorter bit of sticker here, but the interesting bit that Neil was just talking about is you've got quite a ridge there and it's quite a straight ridge whereas here you've got a good scoop now for those of you that can remember the scoop <gasps> blimey that was a while ago and we had the dyna drive now we've got the mega power oh the only thing we're going to say here is just a little bit on aesthetics um, very shiny we really like the funkiness of the xiphos and i mm. think that was 
fairly, I think that was fairly popular first time around, wasn't it? Because of the funkiness of the stickers. Yeah, both bats, both of these bats were popular when they first came out, and yeah. they'll, they'll be good again this year for their reasons. They'll have their followers and their following. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned about the back. The only disappointment in the Mega Power is how they've had to try and get the stickers, the stickers into in. the yeah. into the dugout grooves. Um, not quite a, a perfect finish because they've had to split those, I'd imagine, to get to get them to sit to in there sit nicely, in there which is a bit of a shame. Um, and they've almost gone for, uh, but I quite like the uh, the font style of that, it's proper sort of Atari graphics Oh yes. Mega power. Mega power, um, like a mega drive. Picking up, they're both chunky. I mean, there's both a fair Look. bit of willow in these. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to be doing some range hitting with these a bit later on. Okay. Um, but both quite similar shapes, both got square toes. Square toes, you've got a, you've got a little cap on. A little toe guard on mine. Toe guard on yours. Uh, and we've got a flat finish there. Um, now that flat finish looks quite flat and straight, actually. I think could, you could do the J root with you this. You get one. a good profile there. You mentioned about the stickers being lower because on the Mega Power it's a lot flatter all it the is, way down. It? You don't see that in modern day bats anymore because the spines normally come from here all the way through. Sorry. Whereas what they've done by keeping that relatively flat, they've got more more willow and weight in that hitting zone area there. Yeah. They're also allowing to scoop a bit out there. Well. You've got thick chunky edges and a real chunky bit in here, but that. That, compared to the Xiphos there, where the spine runs a bit more through it, that's where the, why the sticker can go lower, because yeah. it is flatter. Yeah. Be interesting to have a hit with these, wouldn't it? Yeah, what are you going to go with? You're going to go Mega Power, are you? You're more purple, I think. I do like a purple. I do like a purple. I'll give that one a try, aren't you? Should we All go? Right. I'll go with the Xiphos then. Come on then. I've got the silver striking Xiphos. You often bring a retro bat back into a range because it went quite well in the first place. Oh, sweet. Well, we can always say nice things when we hit them well, can't we? What are you thinking on that one? What I would say is, I feel this picks up like the gem, but has the shape of almost nearer the hypernova. So a real balance of lightweight, but chunky. And I think that's where they get away with it, that bit cut out the edges in the middle. So you're not sacrificing anything out in the middle of the blade. And those, the two early on, I probably hit slightly off center, so I didn't really get value. And then the next few I've hit in the middle, and you're getting full value, but with a lighter weight pickup. Quite like this. Quite unique, that, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't expect it to play like that when I picked it up. Even walking out to the crease, I thought, oh, it feels really light balanced. Sharp. Oh, I nearly got him on that one. That. I feel like this has been the surprise in the range for you. I think for me, definitely the surprise. I always like a retro comeback because it's always good to see them coming back particularly when you've known about them before. That, that actually offers something and something different in the range, whereas some of the bats are similar to others. I think there's a real definitive there that it's a light, it picks up, felt like it picked up lightly, but you're still getting hype and over the power. It's a little blast from the past, this one. The old, the old mega power, blast from the past. That's hit the back wall with a thud. That has, it's got some wood down the bottom of it, I tell you. Oh, that's not hitting the back wall, that's out the ground. That is a beauty. Oh, I don't care that that might be caught, I'm still here. You're getting carried away now, aren't you? I am a little bit. Shot, shot. Well, mega power for me all the way. You have got, and that's exactly what it kind of says on the team when you look at it, you've got all the wood in a particular place. And you can see when you get, when you get your timing right, I think it works really well. Let's go short ball just in case that one upsets me. Oh. Oh, he's enjoying this. Turned into a T20 player. Oh, my word. Oh, blimey. That T has come out in the middle. T20 didn't exist when the Mega Power was last around. Straight away. I'm loving this. I can see. I'm off, I'm off to the shops. <laughs> Brilliant. Now I like that. And I, again, because I can get my hands through it, I'm going to choose it. I like a bat with more wood down the bottom of the bat. Retro all the way for Rich. Retro Rich. Team, we've had a go with them all. And um, I guess this is where we sit. Right, the old Hypernova, obviously we had two goes, you had green, I had the, uh, the funky colours. We liked this bat and I think sort of standout features for us were the super piece of wood, a little bit of good solid striking area but quite a long way up, a little bit less down the bottom of the bat. But we really liked that with a good balance to it with the higher spine, felt you could play lots of different shots, it was really going to suit suit a lot of people. Mm. Um, we then go Alpha and again here we just looked at a very nice 
simple shape, a um, bit more wood up and, up and down all the way down the back. Great balance to this one because you've got your spine um, and, and that just allows for a good balance and a, and a lovely pickup. Um, we then moved into the Cobra, which was slightly different. Um, we had a lot of wood in a hitting zone. Obviously, once you get out of the hitting zone, there was less of it, but all the way across the back of the bat, less spine, a little bit more uh, concave on that particular shape, and you felt it. A little bit harder work with your horizontal bat shots, so if you've got a heavier bat there, you've, you've got to take that into consideration. And then we had the gem. That surprised us, didn't it? Well, Gem, Gem was the one that probably had the biggest differential in the whole range. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's got that slightly shorter handle, slightly shorter blade, and it picks up really light, but it really packs a punch. A lot of wood. There's still it? a lot of wood in the hitting zone, and I think we both found that really good lightweight pickup, but we still got maximum value when we when we actually struck the ball nicely. Um, that, for, for me, was probably the biggest surprise of all of them yeah. in terms of turn up. Uh, then we head into the Prestige, which is your really good all round, very stylish, um, very classy, good stroke makers bat, you're not going to go wrong with this. Um, it was in the range last year, refreshed again for this year, well styled, can't go wrong with that, that was a good, yeah. good solid bat. So it is, isn't it? Yeah. Then we've got a bit retro, uh, we had the Xyphos, uh, which I used, um, silver stickers, it's got the two, you might not be able to see that with the camera there, but it's got indentations in there, two chunks taken out of the back of the bat towards the edges. So you, you don't quite get as much value for um, anything that you don't hit dead centre, but you get full value for anything down the middle because it's a real real chunky, but it picked up quite light. Yeah. So that was quite a good balance. And then you had the Mega Power. I did. I'll let you describe that because oh, you enjoyed that. I know, I did enjoy that. A lot of wood down the bottom of the, of the bat. Um, and I, th I think it, it was really just as it looks here. There's a lot of wood in this section, mm. a lot less there. You can physically see that. Scoops made a difference, um, but because you scoop out, you, you, you know, there's a little bit of more displaced wood slightly to the edge of the bat. So you, it, it, was, it was quite nice. Mm. I, that, to me, that was a, a nice little surprise. I quite, enjoyed, I quite enjoyed going back down memory lane with that one. Good. good. Now, we, we, we always come to a little bit of a decision about our bats, don't we? We normally try and pick one, don't we? We do. We do. I've obviously got one because I'm just like that. And you do normally pick, yep, so go on. I normally pick straight away. So I'm going to go, go the Mega Power because I really enjoyed that. And I like the fact that it's got a lot of wood. It suits me and it suits my game. Lots of wood down the bottom bash, a little bit of a trip down memory lane. That was lovely. So I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Go on then, what about you? Where are you going? Well, first of all, before I go anywhere, I've just got to say a huge thanks to Grey Nichols. I mean, they've got a massive, massive range of bats, which meant we got to bat for ages and ages. We did. So we had a much, much more fun hitting lots of balls. So thanks to them for sending down all their bats. Uh, lots to choose from. Yes. Um, but I am going to be a bit more decisive than normal. For me, I think early signs, um, that was the biggest turnaround for me, the gem. I'm not choosing it. No, no, I can tell this. Um, <laughs> the prestige for me, Probably suits my game the most. Yes. Um, I can't. I, I can't. I, this this has got to be a, a turn up as well. But I am actually also going to go retro. No. I'm actually going with the Xyphos. Oh. Because I just felt that picked up, picked up well. Yeah. Picked up lightly, but so much wood behind it, I've got maximum value. So maybe that we're showing our age here, but <laughs> we've both we gone are. retro back to probably the noughties or the nineties even. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those two for me were great, um, but there's lots to go with. In, 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 I still think the Hypernova is going to be a, one of the most popular bats. I think so. Um, you, you, I think anybody that goes into the shop, when you pick any one of these up, I think you're going to have, uh, you're going to find a really good bat there. I think that will surprise a lot of people. Mm. I think when people pick it up, they'll go, oh, hang on a minute, that one's now got to be considered. I think you can't, I think with Grey Nichols, you can't not find a bat that you like, because yeah. there's so, so many, many of them. I think the danger with it is, um, maybe as a brand product, it becomes so many that what is the differentiation between all of them and how different are the bats between each other? Yeah. That's the only thing. But I think with the ones we've probably picked and looked at, there was enough differential yeah. between some of them. So. There was, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah, all good. It is, isn't it? Anyway, thanks to Grey Nichols, you've managed to keep us on our toes like that. And of course, to anybody that's watched this video and managed to stay with us, because by the way, that's a heck of a long video. 
give you a little thumbs give yourself a thumbs up and do give us one subscribe to our channel because we'll of course put more stuff out there and if you've got any comments in the section below we've already asked you for one question haven't we your your best grey nickels or your favourite grey nickels batter wasn't it I think that was a question you asked so make sure you answer that question and we'll of course see you next time